getting a hotel lined up? No, mm -mm. I didn't want to do it that way. <laughs> oh, okay. I so my travel philosophy mm -hmm. or expatriate philosophy or whichever um, is that I'm trying to live as a local, not as a foreigner, not as a tourist, I should say, as because I'm always going to be a foreigner, but as a tourist. So they don't speak English, but maybe there's a way I can still navigate without English. I wanted the experience of getting lost <laughs> as if I was kidnapped and thrown somewhere and I'm trying to find my way. That's the experience I was looking for. That so I wanted to try to do this myself. There was no English at all. No one spoke English, no one, nothing. And that was uh, very difficult in the very beginning. It was, it, it felt kind of like depressing because technically I was illiterate. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know how to interact with people because I don't know how to be polite, how to, what's not to be rude. Mm, interesting. I didn't know anything. So that- Two things, two things I got to interrupt. Uh, one, um, there are, there's a small percentage of the world's population who purpose, and I, if I may toot my own horn here, I, I count myself among them, who will purposely challenge themselves to make life difficult. <laughs> and I totally get that. I understand that. It's sort of the same thing that, that I do. I want the challenge. I want to, to have a, a puzzle to figure out. I want to have um, a, a code to crack. I want to be, I'm, I don't just want to um, float in on easy mode. I want to yes. set the level higher so that I can, whether it's prove something to myself or just have some fun or test my abilities, test my wits, whatever. But it's not everyone in the population that thinks like that. In fact, a lot of people actually want to bring every single comfort of home with them when mm -hmm. they travel and actually basically just experience you know their regular life just in a diff in a different in a different country but that's that's really cool